Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing my what I read this month, so like my little monthly recap. And I didn't even read it this month, I read it last month in February. But I started to notice that I'm reading like about a book a week. But I'm also reading some pretty long books, like some are longer than others. So last month I only read four books. And we'll start in the order that i read them so first since the month before i had read like some pretty like darker books i feel i was like let me read something fun and whatnot so i decided to read the undead girl gang by lily anderson i really liked this book it was so cute it was so i don't know it reminded me of like Mean Girls and The Craft and like, I don't know, like Heathers. It even reminded me of Heathers. Like all those girl movies, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like something like that. So it reminded me of like all those. Basically, it's about these friends. Um, One day, one well, the main character's friend passes away and she brings her back to life because she wants to find out like what happened why did she die the thing is that when she comes back they don't really remember and eventually they do start remembering and then when you find out who the murderer is it's like what just happened <laughs> like what happened when did this happen like what the heck but yeah, it's really good. And it was a super fast read. This one, I finished it. I finished this one really fast. I just, it, I took longer with other books. Like, I feel that, that maybe that's why I've been reading like four books a month. Because with some of them, I finished really fast. And then with others, I take longer. But this book was really good. It was a super fast read. And I feel like a lot of kids, like not a lot of kids, but like a lot of people in different ages would like it. And I... When I was reading it, I was like, oh my god, it reminds me of, like, The Craft and Mean Girls and stuff like that. And on the back, it actually says something like that. Look, right here. It says, Undead Girl Gang is a grand spell of a book. One part revenge, two parts twisted friendship, all parts undead girl glory. With a dash of wicked romance. If you mixed Hocus Pocus, Mean Girls, and The Craft, this would be the bewitching result. Which, it's true. Like... I feel it's a mixture of all of those things put together. Plus Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like the way they talk, it reminds me of Buffy. The movie and the show. <laughs> so I really like this book. I would give it like a, I don't know, like a 4 out of 5 stars. Then after that, I read Thunderhead. So this book, I actually started reading before Undead Girl Gang. But I just never finished it. I actually finished that one before I finished this one. This one's part two of the Ark of the Scythes. And it's the second book from It Follows Scythe. So basically this is just like a world where we already perfected everything. Like there's no famish, there's no diseases, there's no death. You can rewind your age. But there are these people called Scythes, and they look like actual, like, like Grim Reapers. And they work in order to keep the population down, because eventually, like, the resources will finish. So they just kind of kill people to keep a balance. So this just follows the events that happened in the first, um, I was going to say first movie, that happened in the first book. So they follow, um... Citra, who is now Scythe Anastasia, and I'm a little bummed because I feel I was gonna see more Rowan, but there's not enough Rowan for me. Like, I wanted to see more Rowan and Citra. I know he's in hiding and whatnot, and you find out what happened to him after he went into hiding. He started taking things into his own hands. Here comes Gio. Yes. <laughs> What do you need? You're gonna come sit down? Oh, okay. He's gonna sit next to me with his Cheeto puffs and his water. No, no, no. Put your water down here. Put it down here. Right here. Right there. Um, 
but I it took me really long to finish this one because there were some parts that were super laggy like I got really bored in certain parts and then towards the end it started picking up again and I was like oh my god what's gonna happen and I finished it like once I got to a certain part at the end I read through it super quickly but I did take longer because there were some parts that I feel were just so, so boring yes yes <laughs> there were some parts that were really boring and I really enjoyed the first book for um more so I am gonna buy the third one I'm gonna look for it I got this one on book outlet I have a coupon code if you guys want to use it I'll put it down below um and I'm gonna look for the third book I'm gonna try to compare prices like Barnes and Nobles Amazon hopefully they put it in book outlet um but yeah so in this one basically the Thunderhead gets a little more involved and what I really liked about this one too was that you got to see more of the Thunderhead of like its emotions it's its feelings and you got to see more of him questioning humanity like no <gasps> no look at what he did to my book no baby oh Gio no don't touch the books with your dirty hands Oh my gosh. So my book is ruined. He touched it all over with his dirty little hands. Look at the front. Jiho. And he cares nothing. He gives like no Fs about it. Don't touch the books. No, don't touch these books. You're eating Cheetos. Don't touch the books. Your hands are dirty. Look. Fuchi. Fuchi hands. Don't touch the books. So, yeah. um, I feel like the Thunderhead, Thunderhead's kind of... um, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, like, God and humanity. Like, um... When they say, when was it the flood, that God realized that he needed to get rid of humanity and kind of like restart because there was so much wrongdoings, there were so many negative things happening. That's kind of like how the Thunderhead starts thinking. So it kind of reminded me of God in that way. And if you think about it, he kind of is God. He's a God that kind of talks to the people. But um, yeah, it was a pretty good... It was okay. I'll give it 3 out of 5. Like, a scythe was a 5 out of 5 for me. This one's like a 3 out of 5. Like, I finished it. The ending was good. The beginning was good. But the middle, it kind of lagged for me. So, after that, I read You by Caroline Kepnes. Um, And this book, I wanted to read it because I already knew there was a book. And I didn't want to see the show until I read the books first. So I read the book and I went through this one really fast. It's it's crazy. Stop touching. He's like touching everything. Stop touching things. A book. No books. When you clean your hands, you can touch books. Um, it's it's crazy. Like the way he thinks, the way he tries to logic well he's thinking it's so it's basically about this guy named joe and he falls in love with a girl named guinevere but they call her guinevere it's with a k beck no beck so they call her beck and he falls in love with her and he basically he just starts stalking her like he stalks her and he gets rid of people that get in his way. But <laughs> it's crazy. Like it's, I I swear, it's crazy. The way he thinks, whenever she does something wrong, she's like crazy. Like not crazy, but she's not perfect. And he sees her as this perfect little angel, this perfect girl that there can be nothing wrong with her. All the people that are around her are the ones that are wrong. So he needs to get rid of them. 
because they're messing with her perfection. Don't touch the box. No, no, no. Once you clean your hands. Um, but I feel like you kind of start thinking like, is he really crazy or is he just trying to protect her? But no, he's crazy. Like I think at the end I was like, no, he's freaking crazy. Like what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, I really liked this book. Four out of five stars for me. And I know there's a part two. Human bodies or let me see. Warm bodies, not some way. Hidden bodies, human bodies. Hidden bodies. So I'm gonna look for that one as well. I'm gonna check book outlet too. But this was a pretty good book. It's pretty long though. It's like 400. Let me see. It's 422. Thunderhead was 500 pages. 504. So Thunderhead was 504. This one was 420. And Undead Dead Girls. Undead Girl Gang was like 200 something, I think. Or close to 300. 3. This one was 305. So I went 3, 4, 5. <laughs> so they were pretty long books. And then the last book I read this month was Allegedly by Tiffany T. Jackson. This one I really liked as well. This one did keep me very intrigued because I just wanted to know what happened. Like what really happened that night. So basically it's about this girl named Mary and she is in jail. Well, she's like in, um, I guess she's like in house arrest, but in like a home. So she's like in jail, but inside a house. Do you know what I mean? And she's there because allegedly she killed a three-month-old baby while her and her mom were babysitting her um so throughout the story you see like pieces from interviews there's little pieces of like the investigation the reports psychologist reports and stuff like that so you're kind of like getting into her mind and the way the book does it it never really tells you what happened until later and it's pretty sad like what happened to the baby it's sad pobrecita like i it hurt my heart knowing what happened to the baby and it turns out that she's pregnant and when she, they find out that she's pregnant they're like okay well we're gonna have to take away your child because well you're here because you killed the baby so she's just trying to prove that she didn't really kill that baby that it was her mom and all these things and you're um finding out like her mom is kind of crazy and you're seeing how everything's starting to unravel but like wow this book man after i finished reading it i actually finished reading it during deer time because we have deer time at our school it's like um we read for 20 minutes during one of our um, class periods it's called drop everything and read so you all the kids all the teachers everybody has to drop everything and read for 20 minutes and I finished it during deer time and I was just like I finished it and I put it down and I was like what just happened and I was just there thinking trying to process what happened trying to have everything sink in and the kids are like miss what happened and I'm just like I don't know like I don't know what happened and they were laughing because guys the ending is crazy like you're like what um it's a good book i really like this one i think out of all the books i read i think it's a tie between undead um girl gang and this one but i would give this one a five stars just because of how it was written how you get into this person's mind how it turns everything upside down for you how it left me wondering what the hell just happened like that's why i would give this one a five stars and undead girl gang like a four because it's more like uh, like how do i say it it's more like cute <laughs> i don't know i don't know if cute's the word because it's about like bringing your friend back from the dead with witchcraft but I don't know. It's much more lighthearted than this one. Like, this one's tough. Like, you're reading about a baby getting killed. 
and they like explain they don't really say a lot of details but they say like it's sad but the ending man the ending it's crazy but yes <laughs> oh and so those are the four books that i read this month if you have read any of them let me know what your thoughts are let me know what books you're reading because i need new material um i, I already read one this month because we're already March when i'm filming this and i've read one book so far i read this one and i loved it and geo already ruined it and i'm pretty bummed out pretty sad um but i need more books to read because i only have like three more that i haven't read <laughs> spit all over the place um and three dark crowns i never finished it because i started reading it and i got bored so maybe i'll give it another try but let me know what books you guys are reading what you recommend like seeing from the books that i've read in my past videos and in this one kind of give me suggestions as to what i should read next but yeah don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye